The transformation of nature, a total fusion of science, art and technology is a sublime statement of human dignity and intelligence through the settlements we built for ourselves. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the Chai or Coffee show and you are watching the CSE ARC series. We've all heard about Paolo Mendes de Rocha, the Pritzker winning architect. And he has done some amazing work in his career. Come, let's have a deeper look into his life's journey. Paulo Mendes de Rocha is a Brazilian architect. He is very well known for his modern approach to Brazilian architecture and innovative ideas ahead of time. Paulo was born in 1928 in Vitoria, Brazil. His father was a renowned engineer who was part of the Naval and Harbor Resources of the Polytechnic School of San Paulo University. He and his family moved to San Paulo when he was young. He attended the McKinsey University and graduated in 1954 with a degree in architecture. In 1958, he won the national competition to design the Club Atlético Paulistano Gymnasium. This brought him to the forefront of the Brazilian architecture scene and also laid a firm foundation to a successful career. Paulo opened his office in 1955 and was also associated with the architectural cutting edge. In 1957, with the ongoing Club Atletico Paulistano Gymnasium, he was also part of the progressive and unconventional Paulist Brutalist Society. He then went on to actively advocate modernization and innovation in architecture. He won the competition for the Jockey Club in Guyana in 1969. Polo was commissioned to design the Brazilian Pavilion Expo for the 1970 along with Flavio Motta, Julian Katinsky and Drew Otek. This design has since been lauded for its path-breaking approach. It was erected on a single point of terrain and exuded a magnificence never seen before. This expo opened him up to the international arena. He went on to garner many international projects and a lot of fame. Prominent among them were the renovation and enlargement of the University of Vigo, Spain in 2004 and Boulevard des Sports in Paris in 2008. In 1971, he was among the finalists for the design organized by the Centre of Georges Pompidou, Paris. Paulo is well remembered for his mind-blowing concrete and steel creations. He used a method called the Brazilian Brutalist. This method involves construction of buildings very quickly and cheaply. Apart from his significant contribution to the cultural aspect of San Paulo City, some of his famous works include the Museum of Contemporary Art at the University of San Paulo, the former furniture showroom in San Paulo and the Brazilian Sculpture Museum. The Paulistano armchair designed by Mendes de Rocha, which is supposed to be part of the Athletic Club of San Paulo, is an outstanding creation. This modern yet minimalistic creation pushes the limits of structural form. It is made with a single bent steel bar attached with the leather seat and backrest. Not just the aesthetics, but the comfort and functionality has been very well achieved in this chair design. With this fantastic career trajectory, he has also garnered numerous recognitions and awards. Prominent among them are honorary fellow from the Architecture College of Lisbon, Portugal, the Mies van der Rohe Foundation Prize for Latin American Architecture, and in 2000, he was selected to represent Brazil at the Venice Biennale. In 2006, Mendes de Rocha received the Pritzker Architecture Prize. The jury cited his deep understanding of the poetics of space and an architecture of profound social engagement.
wasn't that amazing. I'm very sure that Paulo is going to remain a very big inspiration to many of us. Thank you for watching the video. Do like, share and subscribe and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below.